Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask in the world, including today, the brave new look. You can be brave, you can be new, you can have a look, and apparently that has something to do with wearing a mask. That's the brave new look? I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm very excited. These things are hyped up everywhere. If you, in fact, if you go to their website, uh, like, you know, it's very, yeah, it's very apparel focused. Uh, and as featured in Rolling Stone and Vogue and all these other, and She Knows and Mom.com. Oh, dang. Um, and they're selling these KN95s, except for any loser who knows as much about masks as I do can look at this listing and tell you that this is not a KN95 mask. And if you're just joining me, I will teach you too. But first, let's get it in our clamper. So we have a $250,000 mask lab here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna use it so that we can see if this mask is actually a good mask. Because um, we already know they're lying about being KN95. So first of all, great packaging, guys. This is what, how much did this cost me? Pack of 20 for $35, and it shows up in, in this? Really? Not a box? Come on, man. Um, okay, so, so it comes like in this bag, in like what looks like an Amazon pouch, and then it's like an unsealed mask. Wait, is it sealed? Oh no, it's not sealed. Right. Before I start like really getting into this, I need to start the machine going here. So I'm gonna get this in the clamp. The uh, material is very rough, I'm noticing. I've tested a lot of masks tested probably about 100 KN95s, and I can tell you that um, the material is not very high quality spun bond, which is funny that this is like a premium brand because it's just not a very high quality. Uh, they're just not using great quality fabric. So the button here, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you wanna find out about this setup and how this whole lab works, check out that link up here. But until then, we are gonna dive into looking bravely new. So website seems super legit. Adult KN95, a thousand reviews. Our sleek KN95 masks offer superior protection and comfort. Uh, the KN95 masks are not FDA or NIOSH approved and is not intended for medical use. That's good that they say that in there because uh, a lot of people are not really saying, provides 95% filtration with a particle size of 0.3 microns. That's exactly what this machine is trying to test. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, I'm looking at the airflow resistance, 254. That is already failing the KN95 standard. The KN95 standard has to be under 250. Does that mean anything to you? It just means it's gonna be real hard to breathe, folks. We want a mask to be under 150 pascals to be breathable, but to pass the standard, it has to be under 250, which this is already not meeting. All right, so how did I know just by looking at the listing here, which by the way, great photos, that this is not a real KN95? Well, a real KN95 needs to say more than just KN95 on it. So let's look. So this just says KN95. In fact, if I'm to take it out of this packaging and everything except for the return label, there's no way to know where these masks came from. Well, the CAN95 standard, which is a Chinese standard, they want you to know where your masks come from. Why is that important? Because it's easy to then spot a fake, which this is. CAN95 is not enough. You need to have the manufacturer name, right? So the manufacturer name, it also needs to have, let me see, the standard name, GB2626-2019. It needs to have the model name and all of those things. Why is that important? That's so you know what the standard is being held to. Any N95, FFP2, which is the European standard, N95 is the American standard, KN95 is a Chinese standard. It needs to have all of these things. It doesn't have that. And the reason why, probably because it's sleek. It's sleek, a sleek KN95. They want it to be sleek. They want it to look cool. But protecting you isn't necessarily about looking cool, especially if you're lying about a mask standard, which they are. So they're lying about a mask standard. Let's check their, oh my gosh, what are these, for ants? Is this the, 
This got to be the kid one. Do we mess it up? This is like the tiniest. Look at the, look at that. It's tiny. So it's really strong, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And uh, you know what's, what else is interesting is that in the United States, so this is a Chinese mask. And I can tell by the smell. Chinese masks just have a certain smell to them. How can I tell what a Chinese mask? Go to my YouTube channel and see how many masks I've tested. That's how I can tell. Um, it's like a plastic smell that, that comes from the polypropylene, I think, that's made in China. That's the only thing I can put together. I don't actually know why. Um, what's interesting is if you look on their website, they're not saying where their masks are from. And there's no made in on the mask here, which is weird because that's a US trade law. You have to say where a product is made on the packaging. There's no packaging here. So they're, they're breaking US trade laws. They're lying about KN95. So, so if they're doing all these things, right? And, and you know, they're, 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 they're making this claim that it's like this thing that's gonna protect you. 95% filtration, right? Do you, th do you think they're lying about how good of a quality product is? Well, that's what this handy machine is here to test. What does it say? 72.92%, 72.92%. If you go back on their website, provides 95% filtration with a particle size of 0.3 microns. And the truth shall set you free. That's what this machine tests. Got all the 0.3 microns you can handle up in this business. <laughs> and uh, when we did the test, they, they failed it. All right, so let's, let's recap. Um, Brave New Look claims it's a KN95. It's not a KN95. Uh, claims that it meets 95% uh, filtration standards. Doesn't meet doesn't meet 95% filtration standards. And when it shows up, it doesn't show country of origin. It doesn't have any packaging whatsoever. It is uh, what I would call, and this is a technical term in the mask world, sketchy as <laughs> So, would not recommend buying these guys and Rolling Stone and all of these folks that are getting paid to promote it. I don't know, you should probably look out for that. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If this has been helpful, Give me, a, give me a like or smash that subscribe button and you will see so many mask videos that you won't know what to do with yourself. All right, I will catch you guys on the next test.